It really doesn't seem fair. I mean, a league that has just ham-fistedly ruined the A's situation, been unable to market any of their young stars, and completely lost touch with the newest generation, has something land in their lap that is perfect for baseball, and they have absolutely no role in it. That would be Paul Skeens and his spot in the All-Star game and his exploding popularity. In baseball, you don't get to take much credit in this one because you didn't do anything. More on that coming up here in just a moment. But first, remember to subscribe to the channel. Be one with the channel for DA Deep Dives like this or for notifications when we go live on Sunday nights for Watch DA Live. Make sure you subscribe by clicking this button below me. That way you'll get notifications and be the first to know when we are doing the things we're doing. Be one with the channel. Let's start with Skeens' dominance on the mound. This is a guy who is 5-0 with a 2-1-2 ERA, good enough to be named to the National League's All-Star team. Well, I mean, yeah, the record is there, the ERA is there, and he's winning games. But it's more than that because he's doing this in his first two months of his career. For the first time ever, the number one overall pick from last year made the All-Star team a year later. That's never been done before. You know, in baseball, it's so unlike football, basketball, where if you're a Cavs fan and you win the lottery and you've got, wow, LeBron James, he gets to make a difference on your team later that year. If you're the Bears and you're like, Caleb Williams is our savior, you get to see him on the field in a few months after the draft. In baseball, we wait. He goes through the minors. We've got to wait season after season before that player finally breaks through and makes a big difference. But Skeens is breaking that all apart. He's busting up that narrative. Drafted last summer and now dominating this summer. That's exciting for baseball fans. The other thing is, man, you just look at him on the mound and how he carries himself a big, brawny, burly fastballer who made a name for himself as the number one pick last year out of LSU. is just carrying that attitude, that swagger, onto the mound in Major League Baseball. He's 5-0, and but he could have won every single start so far of the season. Let me give you the three games in which he got a no decision. All right? These are games the Pirates lost. May 23rd against the San Francisco Giants. He goes six innings of one run baseball. Pirates lose seven to six. June 23rd against the Tampa Bay Rays. He throws seven innings pitched of one run baseball. Pirates lose. June 29th, the Atlanta Braves are the opponent. Paul Skeens throws six innings of one run baseball. Pirates lose two to one in 10 innings. So just to to recap here, Paul Skeens has made 10 starts. There's been four no decisions. Three of them, his team lost. In all three, he gave up one earned run. (sighs) This guy has been dominant and his performance has been must see baseball and baseball needs that and baseball needs that of the all-star game and we know that the city of pittsburgh is just right for a great baseball team that that's a town that understands great baseball going back to bill mazeroski's home run of the 1960 world series to 1971 and roberto clemente winning a world series we are family and the willie stargell pillbox capped those pirates that won the last world series in pittsburgh barry bonds bobby bonilla andy vance like this is a town that loves sports one of our best sports cities and loves baseball and the pirates finally have something to really get behind but also you've got an engine that took a charged baseball star and turned him into turbocharged American stardom. Livy Dunn, who became an absolute superstar, a, a name synonymous with celebrity culture, influencers, NIL, and the explosion of collegiate athletes and their personas and marketability, is the name. I mean, she's one of the most famous athletes in the country, certainly one of the most famous collegiate athletes in the country. On TikTok, she has eight 
million followers. On Instagram, another 5.3 million followers. That means two social media channels. She's got 13 million people in her feeds. And she's getting a lot of opportunities like being an SI swimsuit model. So when Libby Dunn does anything, especially creates digital social media content, people are there to eat it up. And she's doing it for her boyfriend. Libby Dunn honored her boyfriend when he was named to the All-Star Game by putting together a video for social media as a surprise party. And here's balloons, and here's a big old delicious pizza, and here he is walking into the apartment with his buddy and getting a surprise celebration because he's going to the All-Star game. That's more than the Pirates did. And my best guess is most of those followers of hers don't also follow Major League Baseball. And so this is the secret sauce. This is something that baseball has been struggling with forever, and that is grabbing the attention of Gen Zers. Do we think that most of Livy Dunn's followers are aware of a pitching rotation schedule or whether the Pirates won two of three from the Cubs over the weekend? Probably not. Here she is, though, attending Michael Rubin's white party. In the Hamptons, this is a who's who of everybody. Michael Strahan, Tom Brady, The Rock, Kim Kardashian. You will rub elbows with all of the social elite. And she is part of that crowd. She's as influency as they come. And she posts a video where she's leaving the Hamptons because she's got to get to Pittsburgh to support her boyfriend who's starting against the Mets the next day. And she brings her team, her girlies, as she calls them. And this is just like the girl crews of people that have been in the business much longer, like Taylor Swift, bringing their friends to a big party to make it seem like an even bigger party. So there she is riding up on boats. They're on the river, beautiful jewel of a ballpark. And here's her boyfriend dominating the New York Mets on Independence Day weekend. I mean, baseball couldn't write this any better. They are benefiting from this. And this is all Liv Dunn and Paul Skeens as baseball's new power couple. Shohei Otani is amazing. Of course, a gift from the gods for Major League Baseball. But Shohei is mysterious. He's close to the best. He doesn't do interviews. He doesn't chum around with the media. We don't know much about him. And American celebrity culture is about us seeing you perform movies, music, sports, but also getting to know you behind the scenes via social media. Shohei doesn't let us in, but Skeens and Libby Dunn are perfect for the next generation of teens or 20-somethings looking for a couple in sports that they actually can relate to. I mean, if you were in a baseball marketing boardroom, you couldn't design something any more perfect. Original, organic social media content blasted out by one of the most popular people on social media about your team, about your game, about her boyfriend to 13 million followers. Baseball has screwed up a lot of things, but this one, this has landed right in their laps. And Paul Skeens and Libby Dunn are here to save baseball for Gen Z. I could just imagine Rob Manfred watching this video. Who's Olivia Dunn? Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking on this button right next to me. That way you'll get notifications when we go live on Sunday nights or when there's more DA deep dives like this one. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm DA. We'll see you next time.